Good morning, friends. I am Dr. Jamshed Dilal, Director of Cardiology from Kokila Ben Hospital in Mumbai. Uh, today, we will be discussing a crucial aspect of modern cardiology: the role of blood-based cardiac biomarkers, with a special focus on troponin I. Cardiovascular diseases are leading causes of global death. Heart diseases are also a leading cause of death in India. Around 75% of Indians below the age of 50 are at a risk of heart attack. One fifth of the world's cardiovascular deaths happen in India. Many individuals with heart disease often overlook early warning signs, emphasizing the need for approaches to identify individuals at risk. Cardiac biomarkers play a very crucial role in this regard. They are vital for timely and accurate diagnosis and management of coronary artery syndromes. An ideal cardiovascular biomarker needs to be both sensitive as well as specific for cardiovascular risk. High sensitive troponin I is one of the special potential biomarkers that fills this gap. When heart muscle is injured, whether due to ischemia, inflammation or any cause, troponin I is released into the bloodstream. It is an established biomarker and clinically used as a gold standard for the detection of myocardial injury. Troponin I helps in risk stratification. Elevated troponin I levels indicate heart muscle damage, enabling doctors to assess the extent of injury and determine appropriate interventions. It aids in diagnosing myocardial infarction, assessing risk in patients with acute coronary syndrome, and also in predicting future cardiovascular disease like heart attacks, heart failure, stroke, and more. The modern high sensitivity troponin I test helps identify high risk individuals even before symptoms arise, as higher levels of troponin I indicate subclinical myocardial injury. The recommendations for use of troponin I in primary and secondary prevention are shown in the slide. Low values of 4 nanograms per liter in women and 6 in men suggest a low risk. On the other hand, values more than 12 in men and more than 10 in women suggest a higher risk of future cardiovascular events, suggesting intensification of their risk management. So it's important that if you find in an asymptomatic individual high levels of troponin I, it does not necessarily mean that we need to rush to treatment and investigations, but that we need to look at their risk factors and modify their lifestyles so that in future they may have less cardiovascular events. So in all individuals, irrespective of other risk factors, troponin I adds a further contributory evidence to future cardiovascular events. So by incorporating troponin to initial screenings, the prediction of future cardiovascular events can be improved. There are of course also other cardiac biomarkers which play an important part in cardiovascular disease. APOB, APOA1 ratios, a higher APOB to APOA1 ratio is associated with an increased risk of both atherosclerosis and cardiovascular events. It indicates a higher portion of atherogenic particles within the body system. Apolipoprotein A, higher levels of apolipoprotein A are generally associated with a lower risk, while as higher levels of apoprotein B are associated with an increased risk of atherosclerosis and cardiovascular events. Then of course we have the high sensitive C-reactive proteins and again elevated C-reactive proteins suggest increased inflammation. Then we have lipoprotein little a to be associated with increased risk of cardiovascular events. Then of course we have capital LP, PLA2. The vulnerable plaques are associated with higher levels of this LP, PLA2 and higher concentration is associated with increased cardiovascular events. Homocysteine we know for a very long time it's an amino acid associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Then of course CPK or creatine phosphokinase which has been there for a long time and before troponins came into picture. Elevated levels of MPCPK suggest myocardial damage. Then you have got creatine and phosphokinase uh, specifically from the muscle which of course as I mentioned is very important uh, and a specific biomarker for heart muscle damage. So the key messages that I would like to give you today are that troponin I exhibits a very vital role in cardiovascular risk assessment. It directly gauges heart muscle health and provides critical insights both for the patient and the healthcare providers. 
It has the ability not only to diagnose ACS during an acute emergency and acute chest pain, but it also has the ability to stratify risk levels and empowers the physician to individualize care and intervention of a given patient, ultimately contributing to reduction of cardiovascular disease and sudden cardiac death, which has become so common in our country. Thank you very much indeed.